Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Um, I found out something. I did some research on Wi-Fi cameras for surveillance outside the home, like on a shed or at the top of the house uh, that can be fed into your handheld, for instance. And um, I, found, I did that on Amazon.com and I found out something very interesting. Of the standalone Wi-Fi cameras available on Amazon, uh, as far as I could tell, all of them have a program that shows the image online, the image of the surveillance camera online, where you, you look at it online, right? And the program, the Ravens, and the program is in China, almost every single one. There was one where the program was in an Eastern European nation. And um, the trouble that I have with this is that those images of your location and maybe your address and uh, your financial information, like credit card and bank and so forth, might be available to the company that's, that's hosting the images online. Now I've read, uh, I looked up the countries that had economic sanctions from the United States and to find out whether China was being sanctioned. And but it's not as far as I can tell, but Russia is being sanctioned and Russia and China are allies in the war against the Ukraine. And the United States is against the war in U Ukraine. So you see there's a tension arising there uh, to do with the war in the Ukraine, a tension between Russia and its ally China and the United States. And, and the United States has already expressed this tension in terms of a trade embargo against Russia and parts of the Ukraine, but it, it hasn't done that with China. Now, Chinese technical know-how is, is deeply interwoven with the um, the companies of the of the of the Dow, even based in the United States, but for instance, Microsoft and Apple both have. What's up? Excuse me, Raven interruption. They both have. <laughs> Life is very unexpected in the suburbs. They both have strong connections with China. Also, I've read that there is a fusion between the military and the economic sectors in the mainland China. Now, what that might mean is that, for instance, the thing that everyone fears, I'm sure, is that there might be backdoors, maybe multiple backdoors, in important electronic systems that might assist the military of China in gaining a foothold in the United States, for instance, in, in, in the realm of surveillance cameras. These might, this might be applicable worldwide that the ability of the Chinese military, say, to see into our backyards and at our front doors nationwide and globally might provide quite a military advantage, I'm sure you can guess, to mainland China. So, and then we have the issue of Eastern Europe and the programs that are, um, the cloud programs that host the images of surveillance cameras over there. And the question that I have about that is, uh, could it have to do with, with say a combination of hacking of our contact information and financial information, such as credit cards and home invasion, home robbery in select areas that are being surveilled and overseen by um, cameras that we ourselves have purchased from Amazon.com. Okay, so I know it's kind of a, 
a scary topic, but I just thought I'd mention that where the cameras, the Wi-Fi cameras are made that are sold on Amazon is not really the important thing. They may be made in the United States, they might be made anywhere, but it's not the cameras that are the issue. It's the software that hosts the images online, you know, like Hit Connect and many others. So that software might field in that software might feed into military intelligence in mainland China or elsewhere. The same might be true in the United States, of course, I don't know. I don't know how the United States could get China to cooperate in that, especially if there are trade, trade tensions and, and if the economic good of mainland China is perceived to lie uh, with their people and, and not with other people around the globe. I don't really know what the thinking is there. So that's the main thing is surveillance cameras and how to un unlink them from the cloud and get them somehow directly into our own handhelds without contact with foreign countries that might be sanctioned trade-wise. You have to wonder what's going to happen if there is a trade sanction against mainland China and, and if all the Dow companies, are all, maybe all the S&P companies are involved with China, what is going to happen with, with, tr with the stock markets worldwide, don't you? And you have to wonder if, as if that weren't enough bad news for one day, <laughs> you have to wonder if issues like the exposure of 73 million people's uh, financial and contact information through the AT&T uh, internet dark web debacle that happened a few months ago, if that kind of thing might not be uh, planned by a foreign power inimical to the United States, China or otherwise, Russia, whatever it is, and uh, timed and used in conjunction with the surveillance camera issue that I just mentioned, because operatives could be placed in the, in the United States to en masse, say, enter homes, rob homes, you know, create mayhem, and at, and at the same time, all our finances might be disrupted. Of course, a lot of people say that the whole internet might go down. And I have noticed uh, all of these four so far um, utility poles struck down in my specific area. I have to wonder how many more there are and uh, whether that might have to do with attempts to rob homes or businesses while the electricity is down because of the power failure because someone has plowed into the telephone poles. So, uh, you know, I, I have another issue along the lines of dark secrets that that is a concern too is that there may be uh, operatives coming up from South America who are not the normal people that we're used to dealing with in terms of gardening and uh, home maintenance and so forth and that we ought to be very careful who it is that we hire and allow into our our yards and into our lives you know how we pay them do we pay by check or by credit card because there may be people amongst the good people of say Latin America who are working in the United States it may be people who are who are not good people don't you know who are say outlaws even members of you know Cosa Nostra who knows what you know, people who, who don't mean us well. We should be on the alert, I feel. We should figure things out, you know, because these times are far more tense than times have been in the decades past as far as international relations are concerned. Well, what a lot of things to think about. But there are many things to be grateful for, too. There's the Raven tribe. There are three now. Uh, a lot went missing, but two stayed on, and then 
uh, one more came along, and they've been doing the funniest things lately. They, when they get together as a three, because two is a mated couple, then there's this, this odd one out, and they play hawk war games together, as if one of them were, were the hawk and the other two were chasing the hawk. But when three ravens do that, they're kind of kind-hearted to each other. But, but when two ravens and a hawk get together, the ravens just go all out because I think that, that these hawks are much larger, much stronger, and much meaner than the ravens overall. If, if it's one raven against two hawks, then it'll be one dead raven, I feel. If it's two ravens against one hawk, usually they can chase it away. And by doing war games with each other, they, they toughen up their skills and, and their ability to stay alive in this environment because the hawks are always after their babies. They're always after them. Much as you could say that operatives from other lands come into the United States and they're used to sex trafficking adults and children and they'll attempt the same thing here in the United States so that our children may be in danger, you know. In the same way when the hawks come in and, and go for the raven nests, they, they try to kill the, eat the eggs and kill the children. It's really tense times here in the suburbs, isn't it? Well, well, it's a beautiful day, even if the sun's not shining. There's another chance of rain. It's a blessed year for California with regard to rain, don't you think? And let's not worry too much about things. Let's just be on the alert, just in case something comes up. Oh, just one other thing. For those of you that come up with notions that, that are relevant to this conversation, and if you have some facts and figures before you, I think it's a wonderful idea to take a look at the FBI website, which has an enlarged section online for reporting all kinds of issues to do with national security and, and crime waves and so forth. Um, they've made it very easy for people to, to send them tips. It's really very easy. You just go online and, and say what you say, and uh, they do what they do. Probably they already know everything about everything, but, but you know, as a concerned citizen, you can possibly make a difference by sending the FBI a tip online. Well, that's all for today. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars, and so are you. Come and visit me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. HTTPS colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. There you'll see much more than on YouTube. Get references to other posts. You'll see graphics that you can't see on YouTube. You'll hear music that you can't hear on YouTube. It's really altogether glorious at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. So, enough for one day. Hope all is well. Take care.